Well, it's week four of Pi 26 Ways, and today we're going to try to prove less is more by designing a 3D printed Raspberry Pi case that doesn't require any additional parts and prints as a single piece and folds around your Pi. So let's jump to the design. When you're designing parts to be 3D printed that have movable print-in-place components, well, it adds an entire layer of complexity to your design. So as you can see from my case design, the right part of the case has parts that print inside the left part of the case. So these act as the hinge mechanism, and the trick here is that you need to leave enough space between the two components that they aren't permanently fused together during the printing process, but not so much space that you end up printing spaghetti essentially because it's printing in air. Other things we have to keep an eye for? Well, in my case design, these posts are designed to snap onto the top of the pie and make sure it's held permanently in place, and we need to make sure that there's enough room for those to move around the components on the board and not hit anything or damage anything. Finally, I modeled the case so that you could have a fan mounted to it if you wanted, and also the GPIO, and basically everything's accessible, so it just acts as sort of a protective cage. So we'll send this version to the printer and we'll see how we make out. And we have three attempts to print this case. So the very first one printed and it looked pretty promising, but unfortunately the tolerances were a little bit off and in trying to free this hinge, I ended up snapping it. So the second side was able to free up successfully, although a little bit tight, but unfortunately that wasn't usable. The second one, well, we got pretty close. The hinge was able to free up and it's able to pivot properly. But when we put our pie in, unfortunately these end up touching the USB ports on the way across, and although you could force it closed, it wasn't perfect. So after having too hot, too cold, we finally get to just right. So this is a Pi 3 in this, in this case, but a Pi 4 fits just as well. And as you can see, with these pins sort of reinforced on one side, then cut in half, we now have more than enough tolerance to get into place, and it's as simple as that. The other thing I went ahead and did is auto modeled some four millimeter holes into the bottom so that you can attach this to something and there should be enough space in here that you don't have to worry about shorting it against those wires. Well, let's go to the final breakdown and see how we did. And it turned out pretty much exactly as I had envisioned. The pie is held in place without screws, which was the whole point, and it's a single print about three hours. The hinge works pretty well. Uh, you just had to free it up a little bit at the beginning and you can just simply Take your pie out, drop your new pie in, and close it up. This is the perfect solution for somebody that's constantly working on multiple pies and wants to make sure that they're secured and they're not going to accidentally get shorted out or pulled off a table or something. I'm not at all speaking from personal experience. So the design's available on Thingiverse now. You can go check me out there as well as the previous weeks of designs. We're trying something new this week. We're going to be releasing the designs as soon as they're done so that you guys can go from here and download them right away. So keep those suggestions coming. I've gotten lots of good ideas for future case designs and I'm even acting on a couple of them. So, you know, keep the design coming in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this design and let me know what you would have done differently if there's additional features you would have put in. All right, well, that's it until next week and I'll see you in that one. And until then, stay creative.